Hey what's up this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials and in the last video we created our contacts list that had basically the styles we need that laid the foundation for moving forward. Now what we're going to do with this contacts list is we're going to actually be using, we're actually going to be using a JavaScript object and then we're going to be looping over that data so we don't have to repeat all of that HTML every single time. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so in the last video, uh, we basically just set up this template that had uh, three list items in it, and it was essentially just pulling this data from this HTML here. And you can see when we use this contact list element, it's just outputting these names and faces like so. So let's go ahead and actually modify this so instead of having to repeat ourselves over and over again, we can actually be using data that comes from a JavaScript object and that way we can iterate over it in our HTML. So the first thing we wanna do is come down to our JavaScript here and we had our properties which we're not using and we had this compute full name. We're actually just gonna get rid of that stuff and so we just have this polymer is. Now the next property we're gonna have here in our JavaScript object is a ready, and this is just going to be a function, and inside of this function is going to be uh, our data. So we can say this.contacts, okay? So this.contacts is equal to an array. Now inside of this array, we're going to have JavaScript objects. Now each of these objects is going to be a name. So for instance, we had Scott, comma, and there's going to be an email, which is going to be scott at leveluptuts.com, okay? And then we're going to have a comma, and we're gonna have an image. And this image is simply just gonna be the image path that we're using up here. Now I can just go ahead and grab that, like so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in here. Okay, so we now have this JavaScript object, and it. let's go ahead and um, add in the rest of these. So I'm just going to do like so and complete this array of contacts that we have going here. And we had Tim. And because I just used some random numbers up there, I can just go ahead and make these sort of whatever numbers I want and it's just gonna be working fine because like I said, these aren't real images or anything. Okay, so we now have uh, this dot contacts, which is an array full of uh, objects which have a name, an email, and an image. Okay, so what's next is really we want to iterate over this object in our HTML. And how do we how do we necessarily do that? You might be used to Angular where we use an ng repeat, like PHP or something where we just loop over it. Well, well Polymer actually has a template tag that's going to do this for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete everything but one of these list items. And then inside of this unordered list, I'm going to have a new template tag. Okay, and I'm gonna put this list item inside of here. Now, we're going to have on this template tag, we're going to have a DOM repeat. So it's going to say is equals, and then inside of quotes, DOM hyphen repeat. Now we can use the attribute items to say items is equal to, and then in quotes, double brackets like so, we're going to actually have the contacts. So it's just contacts referencing this dot contacts right down here. So this dot contacts is being able to be used with these double curly brackets as our items. Now we haven't thrown any of the data into here yet, but what we should see when we come to this page is the data that we had here, this image, the name, and the email you can see it's just repeated three times because there's three items in that array. If we were to add another item in that array, let's go ahead and add Bobby to the list. We can say Bobby and let's come down here and give this another number like so. You can see it's just gonna reiterate four times. So it's looping over this. 
Now what we want to do is go ahead and use the actual data from this contacts list. So inside of here where we had the source, we can get rid of that. And now we can use our double curly brackets and we can use our data. So we can simply just say item dot image. Okay, now let's verify this is in fact working. So we come here and refresh and you can see all of them but one are working. It looks like I think maybe this 15, oh, okay, I missed a period here. Okay, so we're now getting four different images. We can come back here. So we now see that item dot image is in fact working. The way this is working is that we have items is equal to contacts and then it gets item. Now item isn't specifically stated anywhere. We're not saying item in items or anything. This is just sort of how you do it in the system. So we can now say item dot name and item dot email here. Okay, so let's head back to our page, refresh, and as you can see, we now have all four names, all four emails, everything's being output. Now we can do anything we want to that array, and every single time it's just going to use this list item as a template and reiterate over it. So to recap, we have contacts, which is referencing this.contacts, and that is being set in items. Items is equal to contacts, and we have this is dom hyphen repeat, which is letting the template know that it needs to repeat over this. And then we can use item dot to get the property out of each of these uh, objects here. So item dot name, item dot image, item dot email. Perfect. Okay, so we now have a repeating template over some data and we have a contacts list that we can drop in here and use over and over again. So in the next video, we're gonna make this even more modular. We're gonna pull out this list item contact and we're gonna put it into its own element as a single contact. And that way you can reuse a single contact or a list of contacts based on how you want to do this. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.